Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the concept of water hammer. In order to explain this concept of water hammer, suppose here we have a pipeline in which a fluid is flowing. I am assuming that it is water. And this water is flowing with a very high velocity, velocity V. Inside this pipeline, the water is moving with a very high velocity. Now, if it, this water is having a very high velocity, it means it even has a very high amount of kinetic energy. And if this water is stopped suddenly by closing a valve like here if this is stopped suddenly by closing a valve in that case the kinetic energy would become zero suddenly and that would be converted into huge amount of pressure energy and that pressure energy would be traveling in the form of waves throughout this pipeline the pressure waves would be formed and the result of this would be it would try to burst this pipe or burst the joints if it is connected with the help of joints so here i can say that the velocity of the fluid that is water is very high so even the kinetic energy is very high and if it is stopped suddenly by closing this valve really quickly then in that case the kinetic energy would become zero and entire kinetic energy would be transferred into or converted into the pressure energy it means the pressure energy will be increased tremendously because of that there would there would be huge amount of pressure inside the pipeline and that would result in the bursting of the pipeline so that is called as the water hammer and it would all because of the pressure waves flowing through this pipeline the sound would be like a knocking sound inside the pipeline because of the pressure waves formed and water hammer is never desired in case of a flowing fluid so how to avoid that in order to avoid the water hammer, we need to close this valve gradually instead of suddenly and it also depends upon the velocity of fluid and the friction factor of this pipeline. So one of the we can say that uh, remedies provided for water hammer would be to close this valve or gradually and at the same time we can have some air vessels close to the valve so that when the pressure intensity increases the pressurized liquid will go inside the air vessel and would be compressing the air over there so in that case the effect of pressure waves can be reduced so in short that was an explanation of water hammer at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching